yeah. 17, 18 billion dollars are on the table to support, you know, uh, Australia. Yeah. Because we will, and I hope we don't, we'll go into a recession. Yeah. That, and, and that's where the stimulus has got to come in, and that's why everyone's got to get that stimulus. That's and, my view. And that's this my will, view this on will it. Only, we'll only see the evidence of this in the next quarter. Yeah. Mm. As a business person, all of us are here, some sort of business people. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. Yeah. We need people to spend, but the other problem is spending when there's nothing out there. Yeah. Meaning, meaning everyone should be tightening their belt. You know, uh, is a situation going to happen that businesses, restaurants, general businesses will have to tighten their belt? Staff will be maybe laid off. Yeah. You know, the seventeen billion dollars put on the table now. It's probably not the end of the road for the government. Yeah, but there's a, there's a silver lining though because people won't be tra- travelling overseas. What happens previously? The government's concern was people take that money, they, they go to spend Bali. It overseas. What's yeah. happening? We can't travel overseas. We're going to keep that money. We're going to spend it inside, inside the country. And inshallah, it will go to our towards our primary industry, our our farmers and all those things too, because there's no fruit and veggies right now. That will support them, and it will, it's a flow down effect. Inshallah. We can't see it right now, but inshallah, it will help all those businesses down the track, including ourselves. I mean, you got airlines. Mm. Yeah, they have reduced their fleet by thirty percent. Am I right or wrong? One hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. The share market has dropped by twenty-seven percent. Mm. The Australian share market. Forget about America. I don't know what that'll open up tomorrow, but definitely the Australian share market is down by about twenty-five to twenty-seven percent. We haven't hit rock bottom yet. Yeah. Is it a great time to buy? Yes, it could be a yes. great time to buy. <laughs> I'm waiting. But anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> which, which shares? Which shares? <laughs> tell us now quickly. I so can't tell you. Yeah, come on, mate. Tell you, give us the secrets, man. <laughs> no. but, but, but these sort of things will happen. Uh, yeah. And of course, like you said, uh, Sheikh, that uh, there will be some bargains out there in, in different areas. Yep. But, but, but the problem is this. People don't have that type of money mm. to yeah. lay out like. Yeah, 100%. That's right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And, and when you get uh, big companies like Qantas, mm. Virgin, uh, and, 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 and some of the... Um, I heard uh, Target at um, Carindale closed because one person had it. One of the staff members had yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I do a bit of work for... Um, I'll give them a little bit of a plug because they go, they're going through hell at the moment. I do a little bit of work for Flight Centre. I was at a Flight Centre. Flight Centre? They yeah. closed 100 stores. 100 stores, yeah. I was actually talking to a lady there and she said that she was processing eight cancellations on that particular That'll be a day. good share later on. Yeah, <laughs> some sure advice, stock advice with Haji Hassan Goss. I'm going to give you your own segment, Chef. But on that <laughs> note as well, like I just, on that note, you said before about the government policy, I don't think anybody really took it seriously until over the last couple of days. Yeah, no. I, 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 think, I think that and, the, the, and, and everyone's myself? reeling, sorry, everyone's reeling to take the government seriously because Como himself was struggling to take himself seriously. Yeah. You know what I mean? uh, we but had a representative last night at the meeting yeah. and she was from the education. She works with uh, Queensland Education. And what will happen, uh, they may extend they may extend the children or the kids' holidays uh, like a, a week before and a week after, after to mm. give that one month. Yeah. To give a month, one month virtually because of uh, this virus. Yeah, that's what I need more, more of my kids at home right now. <laughs> awesome. But what one thing that we don't we but they wait that, that they won't close the schools. They, be, they believe this will become a big drama, a big problem because parents, workers have to look after yeah. children at home and so on and so forth. Cost money. Cost money. We can't. We we haven't planned for it. If they yeah. close schools, we where am I going to put my kids? Mm. They're going to have to come to work, and everyone, every single workplace is going to be a childcare. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a- Adrian doesn't mind your kids running around. No, I, I, I love your kids. They're beautiful kids. Yeah, they are cute. They're beautiful kids. They're cute. Mashallah. Mm. One of the things that the government really, our government really suffered is because we've never had such a thing. You know, SARS came through, MERS came through. It never came to Australia. No. It was just like something in this fantasy land. Mm. See, our situation is right now, because the Northern Hemisphere are copying it. Mm. We haven't copped it yet. No. It's still coming. We, we are now coming into winter. winter. Yeah. And what we get in winter, we get our normal flu. Mm. We get also um, the coronavirus which will double up. Mm. And this is, the, this is the situation. That what happens, that the government are worried that ICU units will be full. Mm. Then they have to make a decision, does the 60-year-old go in there or do you put the 80-year-old in there? Mm. Mm. Which is sad. So we hope it doesn't come to that. But that's what they're speaking about. Mm. Because 
when all the ICU units are filled up, where do the people go?